Welcome back to NRM 638, Python Scripting for ArcGIS Applications, Spring Semester 2015. This is an e-learning class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. This week we're going to work with the field calculator, and for your assignment you'll have four problems, and you choose two out of the four to solve using Python in the field calculator. So the first problem is we've got some street names and they're all uppercase and the suffix is abbreviated and what we'd like to do is change this RD to road, change this ST to street, change PL to place, change WY to way, etc. So we can do that using Python in the field calculator and basically what we do is we make a dictionary for the changes we want to make and then we manipulate using Python string operations and then just OK and then basically this is the new street name so we have it with uppercase and then lowercase and then each of the suffixes are now appropriately named so that's one of the applications you may choose to solve in the scripting assignment for this week okay another application you may choose to solve is we've got polygons and we want to come up with an edge class as the function of area and perimeter. So what we'll do is we'll take the area divided by the perimeter. And if that is greater than 1500, our edge class will be low. And if it's greater than 1000, our edge class will be medium. And basically, we'll classify every polygon in terms of its edge class as a function of area divided by perimeter. So then OK. So then we press OK and it calculates edge class as a function of area and perimeter. And then we could symbolize using this edge class. So we've got three polygons with a low edge class and 179 polygons with a very high edge class. The third application that you may choose to write a field calculator script for is points and for each point we have the XY coordinate or the location and what we want to do is compute the distance between points using a field calculator script so our field calculator script basically computes the distance for between the previous point and the first point we don't know so it's set to zero the distance between the first point and the second point is 16,755.5 meters all the way down to the distance between the last point and the previous point is 4,713.6. And the last application you might choose is we want to know what is the total number of days between points. So for example, between the first point, which is December 31st, 2010, and the next point, which is January 10th, 2011, how many days were there between those two locations? All the way down to the last point was February 2nd to February 4th. So we'll have a field calculator function that will calculate the days between each point pair. Okay, so in this example, we actually have two field calculations. One is we calculate the day of the year as a function of this date field. And then once we have the day of the year as a function of this date field, the second thing we do is we calculate days between each point. So between points 1 and 2, there were 10 days. So that was December 31st to January 10th. And between points 9 and 10, there were 2 days. So that was from February 2nd to February 4th. Okay, so if you go to the Blackboard website, I've got the video sessions ready for you to work on.